Welcome to a brand new edition of Good News in Schools. And you know what, Matt? I can't believe we're already halfway through the school year. I mean, where has time gone? I don't know, Vicki, but what I do know is that Duval County Public Schools has plenty of good news this school year. And at Mayport Coastal Sciences Middle School, that good news came in the form of some pretty big celebrities with an even bigger message. Take a listen. We have all been bullied, and you guys aren't alone, and one of the most common forms of bullying is cyberbullying. Now, if you're thinking these faces look familiar, it's because you're looking at a group of world wrestling entertainment superstars and divas. They made a special trip to the school to talk to students about taking a stand against bullying. This assembly is part of WWE's BA Star program, which encourages students to show tolerance and respect towards others. In fact, these guests didn't leave without presenting three students and the principal with these special certificates, commending them for their efforts to keep their school bully free. All of us at one point in our life were bullied and we've become successful. There's ways around it. You can tell teachers, you can tell parents, don't be a bystander. And we're just here to spread that message to all the kids. By the way, another group of WWE superstars and divas also spoke to students at Ocean Way Middle School. Looks like a little bit of star power is going a long way in driving this message home. Absolutely. Well, they shoot, they score, and they win big. I'm talking about hundreds of Duval County Public School students who spent their morning enjoying a fast-paced basketball game at the University of North Florida. Wow, a little excited, aren't we? And who can blame them? Students from Carter G. Woodson, Beauclair, Stockton, and several other Duval County elementary schools crowded the university arena. The Ospreys took on the Weber International Warriors, and we could tell the students enjoyed every minute. But what makes this event super cool is that the students did much more than enjoy a game. They got a halftime pep talk from one of the coaches, reminding them of the importance of working hard and listening to their teachers. Some students also got a chance to work on their swoop math skills. Nice. And oh yeah, we can't forget about the Aussie cam. UNF's mascot helped us get the sweet footage of all of the action inside of the arena. In the end, we know this was no doubt a winning and unforgettable experience for these students. Since we're talking about sports, a big congrats is in order for the Reigns High School Vikings football team. They made it all the way to the state championship game. Now, before they took on Miami's Booker T. Washington High School in Orlando, Florida, well, a celebration was in order. And that included well wishes from our very own mayor, Lenny Curry. How y'all doing? Y'all gonna bring home a win? And what would a pep rally be without games, dancing, music, and just plain fun? Talk about some school spirit. We are proud of the Reigns High School Vikings for their accomplishments both on and off the field this season. Great job. Students and staff in our next story are literally going the extra mile by hitting the pavement in their community. Now let's head over to the Young Men's Leadership Academy at Eugene Butler. Dozens of students participated in the school's second ever turkey run. Look at them go. We also caught a few teachers and administrators taking part in the action. Leaders tell us this run is about much more than physical activity. It's about making a statement. They say they want to show the world that this school is on the scene. It's here to stay, and these students are making a difference. There's a paradigm shift that's taking place at the Leadership Academy. And the biggest thing that we want the community to know is that we're grooming our students to be the next level of executives, the next level of doctors, lawyers, ambulance servicemen, business owners. We're grooming them in a plethora of different ways so that they can take the helm when it's their time. A total of 60 students grades 6 through 8 participated in the run. Very nice work guys, or should I say young men. In keeping with another holiday tradition, we're now heading to the Jacksonville Fairgrounds, site of the annual Fraternal Order of Police Christmas Party. The guests of honor were special needs students from all over Duval County Public Schools. Each student was treated to a special holiday lunch served by a uniformed officer. And as if that wasn't enough, you might recognize this special guest. Yep, you guessed it, Santa Claus. One by one, students met with the big guy himself and received a special gift specially picked for them. You know what's really cool? This celebration has been going on for 67 years. The first party was in 1948. What a great tradition. There's no other way to describe this last story other than to say it is music to our ears. It combines three things we love, students, music, 
and your generosity. If you have an instrument in your home that means something to you, pay it forward so that it can mean something to a child. That's board chair Ashley Smith Juarez describing instruments for change. In a news conference held at the Times Union Center for the Performing Arts, it was announced that Instruments for Change is a drive geared toward collecting and distributing new or gently used musical instruments to students. For a limited time, members of the community can drop off instruments at designated locations throughout town or make monetary donations online. For more information, visit duvalschools.org. Instruments for Change is a partnership between the district, the Jacksonville Symphony, the Jacksonville Public Education Fund, the Jacksonville Public Library, and Florida Blue. Well, that's it for this edition of Good News in Schools. I'd say it's been a pretty good first half of the year. It sure has. Remember, you can always keep up with us online. Visit duallschools.org or catch us on social media. Till next time, thanks for watching and have a great day.